Welcome back to Fox Twin Chef's Kitchen. Today we will be featuring elderberry syrup. Here is the recipe and I will post this in the description below. And so far we have already started boiling the elderberry in water. Anyways, the ingredients we have is half a cup of dried elderberries, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, two cups of water, and one cup of honey. Then we have the optionals, five clovers, half a teaspoon of dried ginger roots, Next, mix all ingredients together except for the honey in a in a pot. Bring it to a boil and then simmer for 25 minutes until half of the liquid is boiled up. Strain the ingredients into another pot or bowl. Tamp down on the ingredients to get all the juices out. Then place the liquid back into the pot and bring back to a slight boil. And turn the heat off, add the honey, and place into a jar for storage. This will store in the refrigerator for two weeks. Go ahead. Elderberry syrup is an effective and healthy remedy against colds and flu. It's easy and inexpensive to make at home, and kids actually like it. You can use elderberry syrup... As a, as a preventive remedy by taking half to one teaspoon a day during peak cold and flu season. If you get hit with a minor illness, you can double or triple that dose until you feel better. Okay, now we've added the ingredients and we're going to mix it. We add in the honey at the end because honey should stay as raw as possible, so it's not actually boiling. Okay, now we will take, and we'll pour this in here. Look at that, that's so beautiful. Yeah, look at that color. Green, purple. Okay, mix it up a little bit more. Make sure we got all the honey. Okay, now let's pour it into the jar. You can bring the jar closer. Okay, and there you have our syrup with the lid on it. Pick it up and show it. Okay. There you go. And there's our elderberry syrup. If we should ever start to feel sick or use it as a preventive measure, as I said, half a teaspoon to one teaspoon as a preventive measure. And if you should get a minor illness, um, double or triple the dose. Also, this will store in the refrigerator for two weeks. I found that placing the syrup in a mason canning jar while it is still warm, creates an airtight seal and allows it to last much longer in the refrigerator, up to several months. So hope you enjoy using this. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.